one, one of the questions I want to ask you, and it's a repeat of a question I asked you in the, the summer sort of thing. It's possibly a little bit different now on the back of a derby season sort of thing. Would you guys be willing to take a Newcastle player on loan? So if you had to put a, a percentage of how confident you are as well of going up this season, how, how confident are we? I mean, do anything like that. If he just looks at it from a monetary point of view, if he puts in a couple of million, that couple of million could turn into 20, 30, 40, 50 million when they go into the Premier League. Yeah. Is it not worth betting a little bit on the, the team? We're doing this. It's a midway point of the season. January's coming up. Before we touch on how how well you are equipped for the second half of the season, we obviously need to touch on the January transfer window. What's the transfer budget reported, and is there much activity? Is there many sales? Is there many buys? What, what's what's the word on the ground? Well, I wish we could tell you what the budget is. We're not privy to that, are we? Um, I'm not sure about the budget. Is there much all. expectation for budget? I, I, do you know what? I don't think. I, I mean, with the see what happened was late. I mean, the, the lost Stewart money. We'll have to think that because I think mm -hmm. that happened very late on the. In, in the it happened. In the yeah, like, it happened yeah. a couple of hours before so the end. I'm not sure if they were expecting that, but I think we're getting a, looking at what's happened now with Stewart. I think we're getting a good, yeah. a good deal there. Where I'm not sure. Look, I hope he's missing. Full recovery, I would never wish to buy in a player. It, uh, what's your, what it be? But right it's now, the, but the decision itself looks a very, very good one. I think getting the eight, is it 10 million guaranteed? With, with it's, two million, um, I, think I'm, I think I remember, I can't remember, I think it might be Keith Downey who reported this, but I think at the time it was, the bid was 8 million plus two in, in certain add-ons. Mm -hmm. But you've got to bear in mind Ross County, who we bought Ross Stewart from, got a 15% clause. Yeah, yeah. So, so, look, I think at the minimum you're going to get at very worst is about seven, eight million pounds. But still, I think looking at it now, I think it's been, I think it's probably, yeah, yeah six months left these still, I think. Well, at the time we sold them, right, exactly. well. at, the time well. we saw, at the time we sold them, we had, yeah, the year left on his contract, and he'd, remember, he'd, been, he'd missed most of last season through two big injuries. Mm -hmm. So for me, like, I think we did well to get what we did. So for me, the budget, I would imagine, it depends what happens with the Ross Stewart money because also, do we then expect to spend it in January to try and kick off? Also, the Hadji, we sent him to... Uh, Cut the money, yeah. Yeah, so we did make a bit of money this summer. When I found out, was it, that was undisclosed and some people said two, did. some people yeah. said five, mm -hmm. some people said seven, so looking at it, I mean, is that money going to be made available? How much money have we got, got to play with for the FFP, yeah. financial fair players? It's, it's all sort of we're just not it's, sure we're, I mean as far as budget goes look I mean I couldn't tell you what exactly because the club in terms of transfers keep a lot of things close to their chest but there's two which players who's who's been um, linked to the and that's got me heart, heart racing a little bit is one of the guys is uh, Yannin Villa who was, who was here for um, 2016-17 he was on loan from Ruben Kazan 2015-16 sorry just just, 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 just on that's Magus <laughs> Fever he's like, he's like a, a, a the year we had Big Sam basically uh, yeah, he was here for that and it, 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 I fell in love with him he's a fantastic footballer just a quality a midfielder defensive yeah. midfielder if we I mean is he 31 or 33 mate? I, I know, something like that but for me yeah. for me I know there's the model and they don't want to have all the players but he's just come out and said as well you've I'm got to make exceptions yeah, you've, you've got to some, and I think that's what we, our, our team is crying out for a little bit of experience I think Pritchard I love us to keep Pritchard as well. I think we've got to keep Pritchard. I think he has that bit of quality. I agree. But I think if we're going to bring people in, we've got to bring. Look at Jan Villa. He wants to come. He says it's not down the money. That's a no-brainer. Oh, it, it will get the fans straight on on, on the side. He, he loved he loved the club, and I think he would add that bit of steel in the middle, a bit of quality in the middle. And I think that's what we're missing. We need. I think we're desperate for a striker. We're desperate for somebody to put the ball in the net. I think. Um, but Mason Burstall will go back to Chelsea, but I think that's, uh, that's going to happen. I think Henry will go out on loan. Um, Wilson might get a. He might get. Yeah. Sorry, but this is the, well, this is the quote from mm -hmm. Jan and Beer, so I don't know if you want me to read it or not. But this is from Sports wit Sport Witness on, on oh, Twitter, yeah, right? So, on, yeah. so, yeah, Jan and Beer, so this was former former player, basically, flirts with the return yeah, yeah. He said, I don't need the money, I want to play. With all the respect I have for League Two, as I think it's French second division, yeah, yeah. I don't see myself playing in this championship. There's only one club for which I would ha I would have to would have agreed to return to low division for, it is Sunderland. To help them return to the Premier League, I had an extraordinary year there. I'm not just a football, I can help on and off the pitch. I know the moments of crisis. I'm a reliable person. If you trust me, I'll give it back to you. It's a call to come and get me. It's a come and get me call. That's, 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 that's right. Because if he's saying, now again, obviously, look, he says he doesn't need the money, but look, mm -hmm. he will obviously want a decent wage. Well, he might want some cost, but, 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 but I reckon he might come on a lower wage. It, it, it depends how true that is. If it is... <sighs> Jesus. There's three positions from well, there's two main positions we need. We need a central defensive midfielder who's going to be having a bit of experience because that's the one area I think we're a bit light. Yeah. And then also another one, as Sean said, which is the hardest one to get, is someone who could a striker who can score goals. Yeah. Now, recently, as of today, Jay Stansfield, who's at Birmingham, was linked. Sure Basically, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, Fulham Fulham striker Jay Stansfield went on loan to Birmingham in the summer. I think he was linked with us in that. That he was, wasn't he? But yeah, apparently he chose Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. Now, with Birmingham, yeah, Birmingham, Birmingham I guess for those who don't know, Birmingham, um, when they sacked John Eustace and appointed Wayne Rooney, since then, Birmingham have been on a massive slump. Oh, yeah, 19th or something. I'm wondering whether 
half full and thinking, hang on, we don't want him to be playing in a team that's yeah. going to be going down near the bottom. So it, so I don't know how it's going to work, but according to Sky Sports, Austin Ipswich are looking at him. Mm. Now, I know Ipswich are currently second, but I think mm. the way to look at it is Ipswich have got a number of players and strikers that are playing that in position. their position. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's one, though. It, it, is, is, is Stansfield going to be a loan deal or a permanent one? That it'll be a loan that's what I'd, I'd imagine it would be, but it, it depends how complicated that is. Is he wanting to leave Birmingham with what's happening around there? Um, for me, with Jan and Beer, I think if there's any chance to get that deal done, it should be getting done. No look, excuse Looking there with Tingle, Michael, I think Fatson, we are going to keep the situation. Left back, you've got Alicia and Serkin, who's been injured for most of the season. Again, we've got to um, yeah. try him playing there. And I think that um, O9 played right back. Who played back? It was a safe play right no, back. No, it was Ronald Huggins recently. He's up for the he's up for the rest of the season. He's up for the rest of the season. He's up for the rest of the season. So we've got to clear either um, Saint Paul or Nine. Yeah. In, in there. Yeah, so so you look at that way. We've got back, left back with Saint Paul fine, even though there's two of them have got to come back injured. Huggins is out now. Well, there's no Nine mean two centre halves, which I think we're all right there. Centre back were fine. Midfield, that's see what I, I the deeper midfield is where we need it. Yeah, yeah the defensive different. ones to sit next to maybe even the players yeah, yeah. Equa and Inel and the, like, there's a three in there. Yeah, well, 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 or even sometimes people feel that Equa's wasted in in deeper roles. So you can push him forward. The forward. For me, like I said, I think because Jan and Vier, if he if he does want to come back and he wants to come back on less money, then no one else will say, "Can you play for free, mate?" <laughs> but um, <laughs> look, PS, uh, PS, PS, yeah, PS, <laughs> <you're not laughs> right. that Andy Carroll style. Um, but no, I think central midfield is a big one that we need because sometimes we lack a little bit of control in the midfield, and I think I'm someone who gets quite sick of it when our supporters say we need experience. Because for me, last season proved for me that we didn't. There isn't as much a cry for it, but I think midfield's the exception to that. I think that's the one area you need quite a bit of experience. Just, in just there. as a bit of double, double-edged sword, a little bit here. I mean, and this is me reading into nothing because obviously nothing's coming out on on what's expected and stuff. But you, you sign a manager who was kind of on a free almost as, as terms of that, so there's no compensation paid. It doesn't possibly show that there's a load of money wanting to be chucked in, but. Where you are in the league at the minute is sixth. It's it's literally within a whisker that you could be getting Premier League football. Is that not enough for the owner to think, oh, this is you, I like should put some so in here? Well, be, well, that's what that's what annoyed me a little bit mm. because I'm thinking well, on the verge. I mean, when, top two's gone. That's fine. The, the playoffs is well, well and surely uh, up for grabs. In, in, you know, yeah, it's definitely for grabs. And I mean, oh, that's why I was thinking this is a, a, a perfect opportunity for the owner, Keir Dixie. Look, I, I want to show these supporters our main business. I'm going to pay yeah. compensation because look, look we, we might have talked about this in our last podcast, right? Lee Johnson, free agent, yeah? yeah. Alex, Neal, Alex Neal, free agent. Tony uh, Mowbray, free agent. Michael Bay, free agent. Now, now, does that, that, does, that not, does that not worry you a little bit? Because it's, it's looking at it from the outside, you've got the structure of a Premier League club. You've got the stadium, you've got yeah. the, the youth settings, um, the everything. The revenue coming in. For yeah. yeah. Should you not be expecting, obviously you can't force you want to do it at once, it's his club and stuff like that, but shouldn't there be an expectancy? A lot of good managers do play in the championship. Is there not enough of a pull for the owner to just dig a little deep and then, right, okay, we can get who we want in this, almost this a little thing, bit? Because, in my opinion, it's not a worrying thing. Yeah, thing. you know, it could be. Yeah. That's what annoys me, that's what annoys Michael is KLD because I think this is where KLD could, could show some ambition. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that. I mean, look at touch wood, wood. let's hope yeah, Michael Bale it turns out to be a must stroke. I mean, let's hope. I mean, that's all you can do at the minute. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you're right. But there was yeah. an opportunity there. I mean, to go and get a, a top class, make a big name, like a big name, but well, name, big con- a big continental yeah. European but, name. And there's also when you, with the coach and the manager, you, you, that doesn't go with the FFP. I'm sure that's no. I think you said it doesn't. So you can you can only compare yeah. three, four million, five million for competition, and that not affect your. The FFP, I'm pretty certain on that mind. But even someone like, and I'm just going to use this very broadly, Steve Cooper, who's just got sacked at, at Nottingham Forest, someone mm. in that kind of structure yeah, where it's not, it's not a top Premier League manager, but, or anything, but someone who, the, yeah, who yeah. could yeah. either and firstly, Forest, that's, yeah. that's the thing, someone who would not just be a short-term fix, someone who, if you did get promoted, a could be your manager yeah. for the, the promotion, mm-hmm. but that's a bit of ambition sort of thing. If he, if he knew that he didn't like Mowbray and it was going to go, play the waiting game, try to wait till someone becomes available the and then, right, the OK. The thing I'd respond to that is, was Steve Cooper a manager at Forest or a head coach? <laughs> yeah. Because if, because, because if you're going to, because these type of people might want to bring in their own players mm-hmm. and, and that's just not the uh, system that we yeah. have now. So I think, you, I, think, I, think, I think it's yeah. got to be someone who's going to be willing to be a head Fitting coach. Your structure. And, yeah. yeah. And for me, I think that's the right thing because I think you need to have a longer... Term structure, term, term, you know. term plan, but yeah. I do see the point you're making. I think, look, someone who's on the brink of up a championship or Premier League should be drawn to Sunderland. Really, if we're being realistic, like you know, we should be 
for me, we are the biggest club in the championship. It's a sleeping giant. I, yeah, I know, and yeah. I, know, I know Leeds are in there. Leeds are massive. But I think we are. I think we've got bigger potential than Leeds do. Yeah. But the point is, Leeds are massive. We, we, I mean, but we've got the biggest home attendance. I know people, some people get offended when we say no, this, but for some bizarre reason. Know why, like. <laughs> but we've got the biggest home attendance in the championship. We're on TV quite a lot as well for this division. I think like, it's, all these all these people see that is all because you've got the biggest crowd. I'm thinking, well, we know it doesn't win. We've got the biggest crowd. No, no, like we know that just we, we, we know that doesn't ground. win you games. But like, what it does, it gives you more revenue. You should have more money, the resources to play with. So. You've got a big catchment area as well. That can't yeah, be really exactly. underrated. You've got a huge. Yeah. There's not many good exactly. teams in the northeast compared to you know if it was London or somewhere else. Yeah, compete like with a lot of other clubs. clubs yeah. I think in to Cooper, though, I think was he still not the? He was on the verge. I think he only got sacked like last week or something. Wasn't it? I think he was still in charge of. But if they knew he was going to get sacked then, and they think he'd get him, they might as well wait a bit longer to try. I don't think he was even. Even contemplate Michael. I think no, probably even, not. To be fair, it wasn't even on the list. Like I see, there's there's, there's, a, there's a philosophy within these what they're doing, and that it's still. I think it's just. Yeah, I mean, look, it's well, but, but some one name that supporters were, were mentioning was Graham Potter. Which for me was never That's realistic. Never gonna like, come on, never gonna he's happen. left Chelsea and he views yeah. himself. He views himself as probably an elite level but, club. But then no look, way he come. Then you look at the and he, it was at Brighton. Brighton's not a bigger club in Sunderland. It was at Brighton and he and he turned. He, he sort of thing. He transformed them, didn't he? That is true, sense. but that was before he went to Chelsea, though, wasn't yeah. it? So I think he'd had to pay big bucks to get him. To, to I, 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 I think. For, I think for me, if. If, if, we, if we, a few years down the line, if we stay on the Premier League, that should be a realistic appointment for us. But, but if, if you want to just, you know. um, might you say that, but you're getting a big peer of Chelsea, a big company. I mean, he got sacked, you're getting a big peer. But, yeah. I mean, he's got a few million in the bank. He could have thought, no, son's a massive club. I can, you know, it's a game of, it's a kick. No, maybe, maybe. I, th- I, I, I still think that's pipe dream landing. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 want, I want to be wrong, but yeah. you know. But the point is, I, no, I do get the point you're making. And this is where I think, the lot of the good work we've done on recruitment has bailed out our owner, I think, quite oh, a bit. Absolutely. Like Christian, Stuart Chris, Christian Speakman, our sporting director, and Stuart Harvey, yeah. our head of scouting. They, yeah. Those two have done, with the exception of the strikers, yeah. they've done some work superb wonders, work since they've come yeah, in. Yeah. They, yeah. You know, they got the squad yeah. to help us get out of League One. Yeah. And last season, again, I'm sure I read somewhere that we finished in the top six on a bottom seven championship budget. Yeah. Now, that, now, that to me suggests, if they had a bit more money to play with, yeah. not, not ridiculous, mm-hmm. but a bit more money to play with, mm-hmm. What could then be achieved there? But because could that not be the thought process going into the first of January and thinking if I just dig because forget that he's trying to appease fans or anything like that. If he just looks at it from a monetary point of view, if he puts in a couple of million, that couple of million could turn into 20, 30, 40, 50 million when they go into the Premier League. Yeah. Is it not worth betting a little bit on the, the team? Because if, if, if you were tenth or something like this, you'd think right, okay, well forget about this season. We'll not, we'll not spend much in January, but because it's because we're so writing the close, playoff picture, and we're, yeah. could that not tempt him? Do you think? You, you, you'd think it should it do. Seems but to me. Do you think it will? Do you think it will? It seems to me this I think, it, I, think it, it chances. I think it will to an extent, but it depends on how much we'd have to pay for it. And look, I don't mind the fact that we watch what we spend to because obviously you've got financial fair play and. You look at how what happened last time when we when we had to when we threw a lot of money in without a plan basically like we look at what that could have led yeah. to. Mm. So, but obviously, so we talk, I'm glad that we do it that way. But sometimes. We do need to push the ball out a little bit to try and mm. try and spend on you. But the thing is, we shouldn't be under any stre- any threat of financial fair play now, should we? Because no, we've, 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 we've made a loss for the last few years, but we're just bringing that loss down, bringing it down, bringing it down. I think I think next financial um, report that comes out, then we are going to we are going to uh, definitely make make a uh, profit. Well, we've got, like to think so. We've got to make a profit. And I think that's what they're trying to. That's the long term thing. The strategy is to get us back in the Premier League within three to five years. Mm. With only in the second year. So I think you know. The next season's going to be the season where I think we're going to have to really start. Was that was that on. was that three to five year plan from the moment we got to the championship? The so, championship, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So three to five years to get I, to the I, championship. I think the, th- the frustrating thing for me is that look, we are a good team for this level. Mm-hmm. I think I, I, if you look at it, I mean, I know I don't know how much you value XG, and I used to dismiss it quite a lot, but consistently in terms of XG performances going forward, we have outperformed nearly every team we've played. The only couple of games I can think of is like Leicester, top of the league, Borough mm-hmm. down to ten men. Yeah. Possibly Millwall, I think I thought we might have had lower XG in that game, yeah, yeah. Mowbray's final game. But in general, we we match teams or be better than them in XG. So it just makes me a bit frustrated sometimes that we, we just need a couple of little key areas, like a bit of diff experience in centre midfield and a goal scorer up front. If you can get those two positions... We're not many miles away. No, we honestly not. I think, And it says a lot that we're in the top six and not one centre forward has scored a goal yet. That's, that, we're six from, uh, uh, that's the point. We're six from top. We're six from what we're doing we're, now. We're six from top. Not one of those strikers is getting a goal. No. So, so this imagine one, if we had a strike, if we had a rush, would fit. See if we, see, hypothetically, if he stopped here and he was yeah. playing, he was fit. Yeah. Well, 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 even if you got someone like a Jay Stansfield coming in for the second half of the season, if you could just get someone who could get put the ball, if you, if you, if you could get a striker yeah, who could yeah. get say seven to ten goals second half of the season, then 
All of a sudden, I think we'd be certain to finish oh, the playoffs, well, providing I've, injuries. I've got the league here. Now, by the time this video goes out, it's going to be different because a whole yeah, game be a couple of games played. Yeah. Since then, yeah. But, yeah. As, as it stands at the moment, Leicester are, are really running away with it. I mean, we, we touched, obviously, we did our video at the end of last season. We touched on the three teams going down, yeah. expecting them to walk away with it. Yeah. It seems almost that's the case, but then Ipswich have it's been the, the dark horse and surprised everyone. What have you seen from them? Are they are they nailed on to go up second, or do you think there's a long Ipswich season? Ipswich, Ipswich, yeah. We, think we, think we, we, we both think they'll be in the playoffs. Definitely. I'll, I'll I, mean, the top six I mean, how many points have Ipswich got? At the so as, as a Seven recording, points. it's um, Leicester 59, so that's a very comfortable. Then it's 53 to Ipswich. Then it's 48 yeah, exactly. to Southampton. So there's, there's five points. Five oh, points five from, <laughs> it's five from second to, to third. Is that no second. No. From second to third from right. Ipswich. Right. To five points between. So they've got a cushion. Right. Yeah. I think. The average for, for Ipswich, the average points you need to finish the playoffs, like you mid seventies, isn't it? Like seventy five to whatever. Say if it's seventy five to eighty points, so all Ipswich have to do is win what seven games out of twenty two. Yeah. They're not going to not do that, are they? Southampton so, breathing down their neck and Leeds no, at their I, very I, very. I, I don't think Ipswich will finish top two. I still okay. think I still think the lack of quality compared to the other teams will catch up to them in the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think look, Ipswich have to be really really bad to not finish in the playoffs now, and they just yeah. won't be. Well, I think the, uh, the Ipswich have got Ipswich will be in the top six. Definitely, yeah. they'll one. be in the top four. I think the top two. I think, probably, I think yeah. Leeds or Southampton could possibly. Yeah, I think one of Leeds yeah. or Southampton will take second spot. So before we touch on if you guys are likely to go up or not, we'll obviously just assess the, the kind of top six at the moment. So we mentioned it off, off camera. The top four are probably going to be the top four. I'd imagine yeah, yeah, you've yeah, got yeah, Leeds who are giant, Southampton, and the rest. The other team that's above you guys. As a recording is West Brom, how likely are they to be top six? No, I, th I think they were they're, they're the one out, size, out of the rest of the, the top four. They're, they're yeah. a very, very solid part yeah. to break good, down organised team. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think West, yeah. Brom, West Brom will probably be in there. Yeah. I, I think so. I'm, yeah. I, I must admit, six, I think so. Six, but that's the problem because then, then that's five slots, because that's five slots oh, gone, then yeah. you think, well, look. But if, if you, if, but if you look at the rest of the teams, though, can you name anyone below West Brom that's better than us? Well, this, oh, this, is, this is what I want to get get to with you guys because it's obviously just one or two slots at best kind of that we're playing around with. It's so and there's so many teams competing for it. Yeah, I'm, it's mental. I'm just looking at it now and I'm gobsmacked. So you guys are in the playoffs at the moment on 36. Then you've got seventh place Hull on 36. Then there's two teams one point below. There's three teams one point yeah, below. And there's two teams one point below. All the way down to Middlesbrough, who I'll, I'll touch on a little bit because we are a Northeast channel. 14th. But they're three points off us, aren't And they're they? just one result of you guys one that's how that's the that's how they win and go so if any, if anyone slips up there's so many people ready to take it we've lost our last two games without scoring yeah. and then yeah. all of a sudden the one result against Hull and suddenly we've jumped from like 10th to 6th mm. that's, so that's how mental the league is what, one of the questions that we had at the, at the end of last season is obviously a comparison between you guys and Middlesbrough it's natural for us to do that because obviously we're North yeah. and stuff and you're in the same league um, they've fallen off a lot a and bit, it yeah. surprised me how how have you seen them this season and how likely are they for playoffs I mean I'll, I'll look out every single week I'll see how Sunderland and Middlesbrough are doing and I just get so frustrated looking at Middlesbrough they're getting beat again off no ones they're getting beat they're getting beat so inconsistent so Michael inconsistent Curry, I mean Michael Curry, I think it's a consistency thing isn't it because he, he sort of they lost a lot of big players in the summer well, he was going to get the Premier League yeah. jobs in the summer well, and his stock was so is, high with, yeah. well for context with Middlesbrough and this is where I never understood it when people said they thought Borough would do better than us because if you actually look at the players they've lost compared yeah. to what we've lost, yeah. it, we've got more of our team still there. With Middlesbrough, I mean, they've lost what the lone players they had was Cameron Archer from Villa. Yeah. He went back. Mm -hmm. Jacob Ramsey, I think it's Jacob. I, can't, I think it's Jacob Ramsey from Villa. He went yeah. back. Uh, Zach Steffen from City. He yeah. went back. Ryan Giles, who was at Wolves at the time, Huge now was at Luton. Yep. yep, they went back and they sold Tuba Akpom as well. At the, you know, Akpom, yeah, yeah. and look, Borough might still make the playoffs. There's no reason why they can't because they're in the conversation, aren't they? Three points can be overturned like like that. It's, it's so tight. Yeah. yeah, but um, with Middlesbrough, I think I, I think we we should be more likely than Middlesbrough to finish in the playoffs because I still think our I think especially if we get a couple of the key things we need, I think the rest of our squad's good yeah. enough to finish in the top six. I think Coventry's a good side, you know. Coventry, I did say mine would rise up across second That's half of the season. Yeah. Still yeah, annoys me we could never I beat them. Come good. I always come good. Okay. Yeah, but this, this, this is it, though, because always. this is it because it, the league is tight, but with, with Middlesbrough, I think because they lost those five big players in the summer and obviously probably didn't, weren't able to replace them to the extent, I think that was going to have an impact on them. It's a big facelift for a club to be going through yeah. that much but transition the, the, the at one time. Is as well, mm -hmm. if, say... Because I think the likes of Jack Clark, I think, I could be wrong, but I think we'll keep him in January. But for, oh, for oh, me, hopefully. well, look, if we don't, then we need to sign two wiggers or yeah. something, don't we? Um, but, big three, my, big three. but however, if we don't get promoted this season, then there's no doubt in my mind Jack Clark's off in the summer. Mm -hmm. And I, as long as we get a good enough fee that we deem right, 
and he leaves respectfully, I've got no problem with that. Now, I mentioned that he's my favourite Sunderland player. I love watching him play and stuff like that. Is there much risk that he will go? Because there was Premier League clubs sniffing around and there was about seven, eight, ten million pound fee sort of Which mentioned. Which were quite insulting, actually, to be honest. But um, I think there's a few teams after my think Burnley was linked. Burnley, Burnley was really linked. And yeah, 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 I can um, see him doing a job at Burnley. For, for, are you referring to January or the summer? January, January, January. yeah. There's a risk of it. I, I, my, my, my gut feeling is I don't think we will sell him in January, not when we are in the playoff picture and going for promotion, but I might be wrong. It would we take might. a big, I think if it was a big offer, 25 what, or something like a 25, 25 to 30, 30, for me, 25 to 30 million is what we should be looking at. Yeah, okay. and if, if, if he goes and for that, then fair enough. But I, I'd bother Any less than that, I wouldn't entertain it yeah. until the end of the oh, season. No, so would I, but I think, then, but you got to remember, like, I mean, the original fee we signed him for, I think, was like 800,000 apparently. Something. But, but, there's there's a, but, but Daniel Levy, you know what he's like. Yeah. Apparently, there's a big, big, big sell on goals in there. 20, 30 percent, I think. So, say if it's like a third of the goals. fee, if say it's a third of the fee, then you need to sell him for about 30 million probably because then you only get 20 of that. So, but the problem is then, do what do you do in terms of replacing Clark's goals and because because we could but well this is it the right okay so he's probably Premier League ready as well you've got you've got to possibly look at if you do go up who who can do it in the Premier League this is why for me this is why for me I think it doesn't make regardless of the fee it doesn't make sense unless it's like 30 million plus it doesn't make sense getting rid of him in January because Mm -hmm. you've got him there when we're in the playoff picture even if we drop out the playoffs the next couple of games at the time of recording, we're still in the hunt for the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. And you know that a good run of form like that, you're in the playoffs, and from there you've got a 25% chance of going up. Mm-hmm. And for me, Jack Clark, I think he would, I'd like to hope Jack Clark, there's been reports saying he's very happy currently playing at Sunderland. Oh, Obviously, right. in the near future, if Premier League clubs come in, that changes. His but agent me, though. Yeah, his agent is. <laughs> yeah, the less said about his agent, the better. <laughs> but um, the point is, I think for me, Jack Clark, from his perspective, it would make sense to stay for, for the next six months. Season, yeah. And remember, after this season, he's got two years left on his deal after so that. We've got, we've got, so we've, we've got, got, got a bit of we've got yeah. time and a yeah, bit of leeway. Play, we've right. got time and a bit of leeway yeah. to play with. And even if there's a chance he's not going to sign a new contract for six, for example, if we have. Yeah, if, Two and a half. It, it, when, 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 when he signed in the 18 months ago, summer 2022, it was a four year deal. But again, wouldn't surprise me if there was an extension in there. Mm. So could you not apply the extension and make it another three years just mm. in case we do end up selling him? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, one of the questions I want to ask you, and it's a repeat of a question I asked you in the, the summer sort of thing. It, it's possibly a little bit different now on the back of a Derby season sort of thing. Would you guys be willing to take a Newcastle player on loan sort of thing? Because obviously it's Premier League, so there's going to be... If I use Lewis Miley as an example, but it's different because he's broken into the team now, but someone like that who's 17 who could improve you guys, would you guys take someone from Newcastle? Or is it a, no, that's a rival, the supporters wouldn't do that? I just don't think this sort of... This regime will uh, go down that route anyway. Do you, Michael? No, and I think also the I think it probably costs quite a bit of money to do as well. I think for me, well, it... uh, like I think we said in the summer, I said that if it improves us, I would do it. But I wouldn't want to. But again, I don't. I think we should be bigger than a feeder club for Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. But I do get the point you're making. Look, if it's some, I mean, it depends who's, who's your fringe players are that could go out. But if it's someone who can score goals or someone who's good in the centre of the park, then you know I wouldn't be averse to it. But I'd rather not do it personally. Mm. Yeah. And so, if you had to put a, a percentage of how confident you are as well of going up this season, how how confident are we? I mean, <laughs> it's 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 very weird to say this before January. It's probably going to be a different figure as soon as you know what everyone's You're better done. You're asking us after January, exactly, yeah. to be honest. Now, but, um, now that see, I think we've got rid of Morbia. I, I think that's, we've got a better chance. I said, I said we've, we've got rid of more Morbia. I think we need somebody who's a you know, tactical, tactical astute man, uh, coach sort of thing. I think now he's gone. I mean, I'm with Michael Bay. I'm just not sh- not sure about Michael Bay. Jury's still out on him at the minute. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it's going to be for a while. But I mean, with the squad, I mean, they they've got to, they've got to make improvements in January. I still believe top six is now reached. But look at the teams. What's mm-hmm. below? Yeah. You're going to have to be consistent. Look, a company. I mean, they beat us three nil. But we were. The the score, I, I, must admit, I must admit the scoreline was harsh Mike. it was, it was yeah. harsh but in the end they deserve to win it they deserve yeah. to win but, and I, I do think company are a good side but I think but then we, we have ourselves down on a deal yeah. didn't matter. but it's weird but then we go and win at Hull who rarely lose at home That's which a, is it's weird. mental so, so I'm just hoping that once Michael Bale's sort of methods come across he's got a plan B and a, a, a plan C mm-hmm. um, DXYZ yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that we're, we're improving in, in January obviously a couple of strikers um, and then a midfielder I think it's more than our capabilities to finish in the top six. I mean, I would say, at the moment, I'm going to sit in the fence and say I'm 50-50. Yeah. But I do I do believe that the squad we've got, with a couple more additions as well, it's more than possible that we'll finish in the top six. Yeah. More than possible. 
What if you're asking for, for me in terms of percentage of finishing in the top six, I'm probably 60 40 in favour of us finishing in the top six, I think. But again, a, again, a chunk of that depends on how January goes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It depends if Clark stays. It depends yeah. if we address it's the positions. Not, not we need. Yeah. yeah, it depends yeah. if we address if we actually address the positions that we need to address. Yeah. If we have a good January window, I see no reason why we won't finish in the top six unless players get injured for the rest of the season mm -hmm. or something. That's a thing as well, isn't it? I mean, because injuries can change things. Well, the key, I mean, look at our defenders. That we've got two left back, two LAC and Certain have been out for a while. They are left backs. Um, Try to play in there, and, and then Niall Huggins is another fullback who's got another injured. Niall so, yeah. yeah, Huggins mm -hmm. out for the season. I mean, it's the thing you kind of you kind of predict injuries. I mean, if if, if I'm giving my opinions and thoughts on it, I, I think you might get six or seven sort of thing, mm -hmm. but I, I do feel a bit sorry for you guys and the whole of the championship this season because while. If we look at the Premier League, everyone's saying, oh, the three teams to go down, this is this is one of the easiest Premier Leagues to stay up. The flip side of the coin is the championship has inherited three absolutely giant yes, teams. So yeah, it's yeah. it's not even about the top two because even if Ipswich go up, to me, I've never seen them. So I think that means that there's another two giants in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be this is probably going to be the hardest year in memory to get out, to get what, out what, what, because what, of the strength of it. A quote you said in the summer was bang on. If you earn promotion, if one of the non-relegated teams get goals up this year, you've earned it. Oh, yeah, really, yeah. really earned it. I think, for me, playing the long game, I want the top two to be two of the relegated sides mm -hmm. because then if we don't yeah. go up, then they're not in the league next yeah. season. Yeah. And then if we don't, if we finish the playoffs and don't win them, I ideally want the other non -rele the other relegated sides. So basically, at least two of the relegated sides to go up, mm -hmm. and us, or if we don't, then all three relegated teams to go up because then it means next season. If you look at who's well, like, coming down, you yeah, Burnley, coming Burnley down. Sheffield United look likely at the moment. Burn, and I don't Burnley were streets streets ahead of everybody. Yeah. They were, and that's meant. Well, but then again, like they had Nathan Teller there, didn't they? And they lost him. So. Uh, me, and company though the, the manager I think brings that, yeah. a lot to a club and I thought I had high ambitions I, I, I thought they'd do well I thought they'd do better I thought Burnley would have, would have bring the best out with the relegated I thought so, but, like, so but the point is that if say for example currently all three promoted teams get relegated I don't think any of them are as strong as what yeah. Leicester mm -hmm. Leeds and Southampton yeah, are I agree so, yeah. so, I, think so, yeah, next season, so I think what you say the championship yeah. could be a lot well, won't say a lot easier, easier but, it could, but it could be. But it's next year. I think it will be. I think it'll be a lot easier next season. I the think problem, the quality the, of teams the, the, is a huge difference. The things that go up, Leeds and Southampton. Hopefully. I think one of Leeds and Southampton will be second. Yeah, and then in the playoffs, play play hopefully it's us, but well, <laughs> it's yeah. going to be hard on us. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely. But at the end yeah. of the day, if, if look, the opportunity is there. If, yeah. If, if yeah. we if we end up getting into the playoffs, yeah. then I, do, I I think our squad's good enough to mm -hmm. at least challenge. To, to, to go up I, I, I think amazing. next next season will be a big season for you guys as well I don't want to write off this season because obviously there's a chance you could go up and this that and the other but, no, but, the, but you have to look at it in the event we don't go in, up in, yeah. in my opinion if the three teams that went up go back down which seems quite likely I mean Everton have been docked 10 points and no. they're straight out of it and they're, they're, that's right. just Everton Dice, it's only yeah. really Nottingham Forest and Crystal Palace who could get in but for me I think it's going to be the three teams that, that, that went up so them teams next season you're going to have Sheffield United who I think you guys could get ahead of you're going to yeah, get Burnley, which I think could capitulate. The manager yeah. could go, stuff like that. And, and, then Luton as well. and Luton as well. I don't know what's happening with them. They've impressed us this season in, in truth. I don't know how long they can keep that up. Yeah. So when they get knocked down next season, it, it's not just for you guys, it's for Middlesbrough, it's for Norwich, yeah, yeah. it's for Hull, it's for everything. Yeah. You'll be looking at that the and problem, it'll be a much easier yeah. season to, to play. Exactly. The thing, the, thing, the, thing the caveat something. that with, though, is that, you know, if we don't go up this year, then one way or another, Clark's not here. That's but the, then, yeah. if you can get the, if you, if you then oh, get the right fee... Yeah. Then that, 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 that can be that can be opening the door for us to reinvest yeah. and get someone to replace his goals. Exactly An example, like exam, for example, if we sold Clark in the summer, should we not go up? A player I'd look to replace him with is Morgan Whitaker from Plymouth. Mm -hmm. I think that should be more than realistic. Yeah. Uh, I think that should be a, a signing we should be able to get. He's someone who scored a lot of goals. Plymouth don't play a too dissimilar yeah. style the way we want to play. Yeah. So it, it's all about yeah. if players go, how they're replaced. Yeah. But again. If Clark, for example, in the summer went and we not go up, then the money you get from him enables you to then go and spend a bit more yeah. on getting mm -hmm. a replacement and maybe addressing this another. Why I think the squad. Like just sorry, it's just going back to the recruitment. And I think like they've done well in regards to like the players they bought in the bought Robertson for free. They got Huggins for free. Certain next to nothing. Uh, Clark, Clark, Clark for eight hundred, eight hundred grand. And there's yeah. five players there, and do you know what I mean? On very, 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 very low fees, really. Next yeah. time, I think. Well, Huggins was nothing, wasn't he? Certain, Basically, I think yeah. was, was certainly. Certain was 600,000, I think. But again, it's, yeah, we haven't, spent, I mean? much on, we so haven't spent much on. We haven't spent much, have we? I think that recruitment, you know, when you sell but these players on. When you sell them, that's when, that, that's when the impetus is on you then to go and reinvest that. You've got to reinvest, Re reinvest a large chunk of the fee on a replacement. Yeah. But again, like, if you're going to do it that way, then maybe sign. If, say, say next summer, Clark's here and we haven't gone up. 
sign his replacement first mm-hmm. before people can start to rip you off with a fee. Is, is that and Manchester then... United winger that he's had? Is he is he long term injured or something? I've not yeah, seen him. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, he's... he was injured until recently, and then he's, he's... come back recently. I think. I hasn't he? Is that not someone's rehabilitation? Yeah, I, I don't know. Because um, one of the questions I was going to ask you is, who's your number one target? It might be that it's Envia, and maybe that that is the number one. But for me, if you could lure him back, he was the player of the season and probably the whole of the league almost. If we could get Diallo right and and Equa, which is more, it's more than I mean, Southampton, I don't know if you're a football inside a reporter on Twitter or, or the other day, I don't know how reliable they are, but they were basically saying that Southampton are leading the race to get um, Diallo back on loan at the end of the season. Now, Diallo loves Sunderland, he says oh, he's said many times. He said if he comes back, that he comes, goes out on loan, his preference is Sunderland. I know he doesn't call shots, right now. Man United call shots, but you know, if they want to get some football, he's had an injury. Somewhere where he's going to play games. You know. I, think it's a, I think it's a no-brainer. If we, get, if we can get Diallo and change the perspective of the fans, because the fans are a little bit, a little bit sketchy at the moment about the, the owners and yeah. the recruitment and this, that, and the other. If we can get Diallo, yeah, and we can get Envia, and it's I can strikes, see you getting excited in your face here. But there's more than, there's more than something in there that can get us in the, through it in the playoffs. And for me, forward, I think, anyway. for, for me, the biggest area we need to aggress is a striker who scores goals mm. and, I, and I think there's a few positions we need. I think I agree with Sean I think if we can get Ahmad back and I think that would be a cracking sign and oh. how likely that is it depends on what Man United want to do from their perspective but I'd like to think but again money money talks yeah. in terms of who's yeah, willing yeah. to pay wages um, if he's going to come back into the championship I'd like to think we'll be front of the queue for that or we should be um, because obviously he's experienced last year how much of him wanting to come back is related to Tony Mowbray though I don't know that could change things that he's not here for me, a striker who is going to hit goals second half of the season, I think, is is probably the one position I think we need more than anything because yeah. we create a lot of chances. We create so many opportunities to score goals, and if you had a striker who's just there, poacher, finish them, it's, then then all of a sudden I think have you, you have you got a name. There's a couple What's actually. The, yeah. Well, one is Jay Stansfield, oh, who's, yeah, who's, yeah. who's but it, well, that's what Sky Sports have reported. Mm-hmm. So if we're looking. At it, He's already on loan at Birmingham, so I don't know. That might be quite complicated how that works out. It might be that that loan has to be terminated, and then can he go somewhere else? Then? I don't before, know. I mean, um, or and this might be. Gone, then, but again, gone. <laughs> he left I'd, us. I'd, I'd rather not. He left <laughs> us in the crap, to be honest. But um, can be done. With or could it be? We've got the Ross Stewart money, and depending on how much Fulham want for Stansfield, and I don't think we'll buy him. By the way, I think no. it'll be a loan if we get him. But you, but you look at it. We look at it and go, do they want a couple of million? In the basket, get spent. I, I guarantee you. I'll right, quote this on the, on the video. We'll not spend any money in January. But if but if and then Sunderland spend spending quite yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. If recruit well, you can get the other one known. You can get um, um, Vio as a free is it is a free agent. Yeah, or it'd be a minimal fee, wouldn't it? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So there's there's two feet away. Two quite. Yeah, you don't, you don't you don't in the championship. You don't you, you obviously have to spend well, but you don't have to spend. Stupid amounts of money to be able to get. If you recruit, but if you recruit, sorry, to, to get back to your question, I think Jay Stansfield, if there's a possibility to get that done, I'd do it. Another one I said before is Tom Cannon on loan from Leicester. But the That's problem the I've got there is the, the other strikers have got I hear Nacho and Daka at, at, at the AFCOM, Africa Cup of yeah. Nations. He's near um, the two there without only him, Stansfield and Cannon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're the two I'd be looking at. They're the two I'd be looking at, no, be be looking at to yeah. try and get because both of them should be within Sunderland's reach. But again, Leicester have got Jamie Vardy, he's what, 36, 37. Yeah. He's not relied on to play every game at his age. So Tom Cannon, depending on what Leicester do, might be might be on out of the question. But or even look at the Premier League, and like I think Chris is saying, only one look at the Premier League clubs, and is there any potential young guys that would you could get to, to the end of the season, like from Liverpool, Man City? Minutes. Any, do you know what I mean? Any of the but also as well, it depends. Do we need to get anyone out in terms of the squad size? Do we need to get like a? Uh, are we are the loans you mean? I do, well, no, not necessarily loans. I just mean like the general squad oh, size, like, like you know, twenty, twenty. Uh, I think I think uh, what's it called? I imagine we'll probably let Lewis and Burstow will uh, go back. Lewis and Burstow, I think, will go back. Yeah. Um, I think Lewis and Lewis and Mayer will go up unknown. I think. I think one possibly. of the, one of Hamia or Miander, I would loan out at least, um, and then try and get someone a loan to replace we'll them. Probably loan them all out. <laughs> and then not, and then not have any. <laughs> well, saying that, we, saying that we don't play with any strikers, we don't play with strikers at the minute anyway. So what did the strikers in the summer end up with four, not one of them scored? Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> that's, just, that's, just, that's just bizarre. That. But no, to, for me, the, the main positions we need. If I had to name a singular one, it'd be striker to score goals. Mm-hmm. But I think we need that. I think if if, if Sean's right, if you could get somehow get someone like Jan and Veer back or someone yeah. who's got a bit of experience, because we've got Corey Evans coming back from injury. But let's be honest, he's probably not going to play. Gonna, he's not going to be the same. He's, I, don't, I don't think he's he will. Been be. Over um, a year now, Michael. Yeah, exactly. Right. So I'd be very surprised if he features heavily. But we were warned but, about that time, weren't we? Well, we were. I mean, he, he, did, he did his job to get us up from the. He did. I did well. He's good. But yeah. So Jan and Veer for me, if you can get that deal done, I'd do. Um, if you can get one of, say, Jay Stansfield, Tom Cannon on loan, I don't know how likely that is, but I'd be looking to do that by a mile. Mm-hmm. And then maybe someone like Ahmad Diallo, or a player I mentioned back in the summer, Fabio Cavallio from Liverpool. He was at Leipzig, but I saw a report somewhere that that might be that could be getting terminated due to a lack of game time. 
So for me, if that happens, then all the minutes with you exactly. Well, yeah. And again, with the pull of the club, that, with all due respect, we should be able to attract players like that. We should be attracting so, and loan deal. Yeah. But again, the loans obviously all depend on what percentage of the wages are we going to have to pay. Yeah. How much of the loan? How much of the parent club going to want? Uh, are we willing to facilitate? That's paying? always the problem when they, you sign them from these big clubs because these clubs can pay these big wages once they're on. It's like uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the problem. That's the thing, so for, for me, so if you got one of Cavalio or Ahmad on loan, mm -hmm. ideally, um, should. Carvalho's um, loan be, be terminated from Leipzig, mm -hmm. then one of Cannon or Stansfield from on, on loan or whatever it is from Leicester or from, Bert or from Fulham, whoever it is, and then maybe in Vienna. I think if you've got those three so if you've got a striker, one of the wingers that we mentioned, and a central midfielder, and didn't lose anyone key, then I think we'd be really, really set for the second half of the season. I honestly believe that this season... We're not far six, away, we're really if, not. If, touch if, 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 if you had the top six, though, as well, I think if you retain it, I think we'll have to, you'd better give them... A massive credit because it's going to, the team looks around, man. It's, some, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a right battle, but it's, it's more than capable. But it's this thing below I'm looking at. It's coming to your base of the way. And I, do, I, I think Robbins is a good manager. He's proven he was that close to promotion last season. And they, they, well, I says the table, I says they'll come, I says they'll come good. Middlesbrough, I'm, I'm starting to have doubts about Middlesbrough. I don't know what, I don't know if it's just... It's Wait, well, well, you, 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 he did say this uh, a few months ago, didn't you? I, I, did, did, I did say Borough would do, well, the, do the, as well the as what people... The players that you rattled off are absolutely key players. Uh, uh, Stefan, the goalkeeper, is fantastic. Archer's doing the business at Sheffield United. All of the people that you listed, I'm like, oh, right. no, if, if, what a squad if, they if, have. If, you know, what if a squad. Lost, yeah. would, well, again, that was Stefan, Archer, Ramsey, Giles... The striker and, as well. If they'd lost maybe one or two, three most they could maybe do that. But the fact they've lost five of them and had to... Set the replacement. So, but if you look at again below us, so you've got Hull, who I personally think I still think. Well, I think you know, I think we're better than Hull. I think Bristol City will probably tail change, off a little change, bit. Change your manager. I think they're, they're doing all right at the minute. But I think they'll tail off a bit. Preston don't particularly rate. I think mm. watch them beat us at the stadium right now. But anyway, <laughs> I don't. I think we're better than Preston. Watford's Watford, up and down. At Watford, the, yeah. I think Watford will fall off a bit. Cardiff will fall off a beat bit. Us, but I don't know how they beat us. Yeah, smash and grab. it was literally a smash and grab. We dominated yeah. that game. Commentary, um, I think commentary. Commentary, I think will be in the mix. Be in Norwich, the mix. I think should be in the mix with the squad they've got. But again, yeah. David Wagner, there's doubts there. How much room? Like, see a I think, I think, I think from because Blackburn were on 31 points. I think Blackburn, I'm not nah. too worried about. I think, I think it's from Middlesbrough up to yeah, Sunderland. That's, that's from Middlesbrough up, upwards, I think that's going to be the team. But that's like yeah. that's oh. that's nine teams at the minute though. That's, You've got Watford and Norwich who've got recent Premier League experience that's, as that's well. That's the thing. So for me, I think the big thing for me is, I mean. I'm looking at that losses column. Like out of 24 games, we've won 11, drew three, lost 10. Mm. That for, that the losses the loss, for me. Well, that's, 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 if, if, say, if say you took we're two four, week, we're two week on the if, say, if say you took three or four of those losses and turned them into draws, then what's that mean? then all of a sudden you're like in a fifth, aren't you? With yeah. so no. that's what cost Mowbray's job for me. It was we're getting beat too much and. I don't, I don't and some of the games we were losing as well. Like, some of them like, are, to be fair, like, probably the one most recent one, like Huddersfield at home, that was dreadful that was, night. It was. it was really, really poor. It was. I, I, so, I was at that game. But we, we, were we didn't miss anything. We, 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 <laughs> we probably did deserve something out of it, but we still weren't. We still weren't anywhere near good enough. Yeah. So the point is, like, I know we've we'll probably rattled on and repeated this about five I'm just times. I was talking to Speakman and and and, and Harvey. I've got aces up this week. done this with the, with the recruitment and that with the with the with the coach. This what I mean. If, KL, if, if KLD can push them and back them a little bit with yeah, the money, Michael Beale and, and um, Mike Dodds. I was hoping yeah. them two get got the chemistry together here. and just work well together. To ask you then, do you think what would you do with the Ross Stewart money? If it's right there, what would you do with it? If we. Like, would you look to spend all of it, or would you look to see? No, 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 spend all of it because, like, you see, you want to try and, you know, record a profit this this year because we've been bringing it down all the time, so that's good. But we're not going to spend ten million on striker. Let's get real. It's going to. The it's, only it's, way it would happen again is if we sold Clark and then. So say yeah, we sold Clark, Clark and got for twenty five. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, then you could spend the money as a replacement and get a striker. But I think. Stuff, but yeah. Well, when you, as I said, said earlier, when you, you don't have to spend massive amounts of money. To be fair, as long as your recruitment's, if the recruitment's good. bang, if it's good, yeah. we just need a couple of strikers. Get 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 one out on loan. Get you know, get two of them out on loan. Sorry, mm. um, send Burstow back and bring in midfielder. A couple of strikers and defense. I think defense was sound, but then we've lost Huggins. But I think I think with defense, if. Beal could get with them on the training pitch and then and so just coach them yeah, be a bit yeah, more yeah. robust but still keep the football we want to play mm -hmm. but just get a bit more solidity in there then I think I think there, there is there is something there whether Beal's the right man remains to be seen but well, fingers crossed, but, fingers crossed. like I've said before we think we believe the squad is good enough uh, to, mm -hmm. it I just, do it, it's it, a couple it, additions honestly Chris especially if you add what we yeah. need you add what we need then yeah. keep Clark keep Clark yeah. uh, in January keep add, Clark, a, add a, a striker a, a really good striker it's what we'll find a gem somewhere keep him seeing gem a midfielder, yeah. hopefully, uh, uh, Amvia. That would be amazing. 
And a couple, a couple, just a couple and of Ahmad coming back. <laughs> you imagine that. Yeah. So yeah, to answer your question, January is going to be January will probably influence how confident season, we, yeah. we are. But yeah, yeah January is going to be a big month. Well, all you need to do is get top six, and then it's a it's a lottery or more. So we've seen yeah. not necessarily the best team, the luckiest way it could it could go. This anywhere. is what I mean though, because if you get top six, if say let's say Leeds are set up and finish second, mm-hmm. right? Then if you've Switch, then you've then you've then so, so say it'd be Ipswich. Say the minute like it'd be Ipswich, West Brom, and the other of Southampton or Leeds who hasn't gone up. Mm-hmm. If you look at that, I think West Brom would beaten. Uh, Ipswich, we, Ipswich, yeah. we should but have got. Day, yeah, yeah. Ipswich, we mm. should have got something out so of. Could have, we're good. have either Leeds or Southampton at Wembley. <laughs> Giants. <and Giant. laughs> Can you actually imagine Leeds some them? Oh, imagine, Leeds, imagine Leeds at Wembley. Leeds. Oh my oh, God, yeah. that, that would sure. be, that would just be sure. absolutely. Sure. But again, it just goes to prove. I mean, the, look, we know the league we are sustainable in really is the mm. Premier League. But the, the, I can't stress enough how we're not far away from. From, from doing it with no, but it's January away. and you're sixth. I mean, you're yeah. not only not far away, you, you, you are there. We are, but obviously, yeah. like, you know. We'll beat, couple... we'll beat um, Leicester this season, sorry. We'll beat Le- no, Leeds. We'll beat Leeds. Beat Leeds. Beat we'll West Brom. They're both. We'll, we'll beat, beat Southampton. Hull. Beat Hull. We need yeah, so. we'll it. Like, Leicester were unlucky in a sense. No, we should have got something out that night, yeah. yeah. There was other one. Uh, Ipswich, I thought we were just. Hull, Hull, we should. Well, it's a good beat. So, out of the teams around us, beat Hull, we'll beat uh, West Leeds, Brom. West Brom, Southampton. Southampton. Yeah, yeah, that's another. Like a, uh, let's, let's go back onto this again. Um, <laughs> beat Watford, going off our mm-hmm, blows. Yeah. Beat beat Norwich. Um, so I've yeah. seen beat quite a lot of teams. That was above us. But the, the, the problem as well, though, if you look at the teams, we've dropped points to drop points. No, sorry, I'm, yeah. we drop points to Huddersfield, drop points to Millwall, drop uh, points to Stoke, yeah. drop points to Swansea, drop points to Plymouth. Those are the type of games that that do it for you. Yeah, can't be you know, it's like the League One days, isn't it? Well, we kept <laughs> on dropping points against the really bad teams. Yeah. Well. Well, we'll see. January is literally just yeah, around the corner. Crossed. It's literally just a month away till it. Watch and help the lads out. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Dig deep. Dig deep. Dig right. Deep Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget, this was the third of our videos. Do watch the other ones as well, where we talk all things Sunderland, as well as the derby, which is just around the corner as well. Don't forget, like, follow, subscribe if you're not doing it already. And guys, the channels again. SFC fans, we have to pay subscribers absolutely free. It doesn't cost a penny. Like I thought it was nearly same, five, same, yeah. same. Nearly five k free doesn't cost a penny, like Sean said. Like, so, like, yeah, so he deserves it. He's a great, great he deserves it. He gets good, good, good chat, main, main man. So just <laughs> we'll see if we're both together at Wembley in May. <laughs> Fingers uh, crossed. There we go. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Cheers, Richard.